Modi's land acquisition bill, which exempts investments in defence, industrial corridors and other government partnerships from the need to obtain 70% consent from farmers, is still being challenged from the opposition parties. Rahul Gandhi has now sought to rally farmers against the government's land acquisition bill as he looks to revive his party's popularity. Gandhi accused Prime Minister Narendra Modi of giving away farmland to industrialists who supported him during last year's election. You treat your land as your mother. These lands are gold and will be more valuable than gold in the future. The Congress party will stand firmly by you when they snatch your land, Rahul Gandhi said at the rally before more than 1,000 farmers on 19th of April in New Delhi. Congress sees the land bill as a chance to regain some political momentum as Modi's moves to revive economic growth have yet to resonate with the majority of Indians. Modi responded almost immediately to Gandhi's latest charges, defending his government's record of helping the poor in a meeting of party officials on 19th of April. Hold your head high, be confident and tell the people what we are doing for them. All decisions that I am taking are for the welfare of the poor, Narendra Modi said. Infrastructure and other projects needed to spur economic growth have stalled since the previous government passed a law in 2013 that required the consent of more than 70% of farmers for most land acquisitions. The estimated backlog of investment in power plants, factories and mines awaiting approvals climbed to about $392 billion in March 2015, according to the Project Monitoring Group, a government body. While Modi's land bill was approved in the BJP-dominated lower house of the parliament in March, it has been stuck in the upper house where Modi's coalition doesn't have enough support. As the parliament resumed on 20th of April, Narendra Modi appealed for cooperation from the opposition parties.